Tony Martin raced to a solo victory on stage 9 of the Tour de France as Tony Gallopin took over the race lead. Germany's three-time world time trial champion Martin was in an early break with Alessandro Di Marchi but rode clear 50 km from the finish in Mulhouse. France's Gallopin finished in a group 2 minutes, 45 seconds back to take the yellow jersey from Vincenzo Nibali, who had led since winning stage 2. Nibali finished 8 minutes behind Martin with the other race favourites once the early breakaway had been allowed to go clear, Nibali's Astana team were content to let Martin and Di Marchi build up an advantage of more than 6 minutes as they went up and down a couple of Category 2 and Category 3 climbs in the first half of the stage. Martin made his move on the next ascent, the Category 1 10.8 km climb up Lamarckstein and continued his attack over the shorter slopes of Grand Ballon as the stage reached its peak at 1,336 metres above sea level. The Omega Farmer, Quickstep Rider then used his time trialling skills to good effect on the 20 km descent before maintaining his form on the 20 km run into the finish. I'm happy I could make my own time trial, Martin told BBC Sport. I felt good in the hills on Saturday so I took my chance today. I wasn't really suffering at the end and I had the power to go fast so I'm happy with my performance. The victory is one of the biggest of my career. Behind Martin, Gallopin, who started the stage 3 minutes, 27 seconds behind race leader Nibali managed to break clear of the peloton and form a group of 28 riders. They built up an advantage of more than 5 minutes over Nibali's group putting the Lotta Blasol rider in the virtual yellow jersey on the road. Nibali's Astana team were unfazed and seemed content to let Gallopin stay clear and take the yellow jersey and the pressures that come with it. The Italian finished alongside Alberto 